Is IA Writer the Minimalist Writing App for You? In this video, I'm going to walk through exactly who IA Writer is for and what you can use it to accomplish. Hi there, my name is Brian Collins. Welcome to the Become a Writer Today channel. Hope you enjoy this video review of IA Writer. If you do, hit thumbs up. And if you want to get more videos like this or about writing apps or the writing process, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. IA Writer launched a great fanfare back in 2011. It was created by a Tokyo-based designer. It originally launched on Mac before launching on iOS and later Windows and Android. Now I've used IA Writer extensively to write freelance articles and also to test some of my longer form pieces of writing. I've used the IA Writer app for my iPhone, for my iPad and also for Mac. And for a long time, it was my key part of my writing workflow. I particularly like some of the features that IA Writer has, which can help you write articles more quickly and publish them online. And I'm gonna walk through some of those features now. Before we get into that, how much did you expect to pay for IA Writer? Well, it's actually quite affordable. It costs $29 to buy for Mac or iOS and $29 for PC and Android. You have to buy the app twice if you're gonna buy it for Mac and also for iOS. So that's something to bear in mind. And you can see here they have a comparison table versus Word or Microsoft Office. But to be honest, the competitors to IA Writer are other writing apps like Ulysses and Byword, which are also minimalist writing apps and can replicate some of the features I'm gonna walk through. Ulysses is more expensive than IA Writer because it costs approximately $5 per month, so it's more expensive over the course of the year. Whereas Byword is a little bit cheaper, it costs approximately $10 to $12. That said, IA Writer probably is worth the price. $29 isn't much to pay for everything that IA Writer can help you do with your writing and for the way it can help you focus on the written word. I've opened up IA Writer and you're actually looking at a blank screen. That's what these minimalist writing apps accomplish. They strip all of the fancy features and tools and take them out of your way so you can just focus on writing. So you can see here when I start typing in IA Writer, I don't have any formatting options that I need to worry about. And I also don't need to worry about ribbons or rulers or any of those things that can get distracting if you're writing in Microsoft Word or Google Docs. There's actually a little bit more to IA Writer. So if you want to manage all of your documents, they're basically text files which IA Writer combines in one place with its document library and which sync with iCloud. To access them, you just click on the sidebar. So I have uh, dozens of freelance articles that I wrote over the years in my IA Writer library, and you can add tags to them or you can search using the uh, search bar down here at the bottom. And it'll sync them all across your Apple devices, your iPhone and tablet uh, using iCloud. To use IA Writer or any minimalist writing app, you need to learn Markdown. If you're not familiar, Markdown is basically a type of syntax for formatting your articles prior to publication and for the web. The special characters are basically hashtags, asterisks, and some other characters that you can use to add hyperlinks. Don't worry, it only takes a few minutes to learn. And when you download IA Writer, there's a cheat sheet that will walk you through it. You can also go to the official Markdown website on daringfireball.net and just click on syntax and they'll give you all of the special characters. We're gonna walk you through some of these to show you how they look like in practice. Cause it's only when you start using Markdown that you can get to grips with it. So I'm gonna type in, this is I, a writer. So this is body text. And then if I put a hashtag before, this is IA writer, it'll format it as H2 uh, or H1. Then if I put two hashtags, it'll be H2. If I put three hashtags, it'll be H3. Uh, and then I'm gonna put this in here as body text so you can see what this will look like formatted. Then I click on the play option here, or you can use a keyboard shortcut. And you can see here, it's got the heading for my article, the body text and the subheading. Uh, now I can also use uh, asterisks for lists. So list item one, list item two. And I can also use asterisks to put items in bold. So it's a great way of using keyboard shortcuts to format your writing rather than uh, the fancy and distracting options in Microsoft Word. So again, I can click play and you can see this is bold. This is italics. And then if you want to add a hyperlink, uh, you simply put in the brackets and then put in your web URL. I've opened up an article I wrote in IA Writer a few months ago about the Grammarly readability score. So I can show you what all of this looks like for a finished article. If you're interested, I have a review of Grammarly on the Become a Writer Today channel. Anyway, in this article, I've used my hashtag to put in H1, to put in H2, and also to add bold and hyperlinks and some bullet points. Now, if I click on play, I can see what this article looks like completely formatted. 
and it's a great way of getting your article ready for the web and then when you're ready to click publish all i have to do is go to file and export and then i can export the article as a micro formatted microsoft doc as a pdf html uh, if i want i can also connect ia writer to my website so i can add a medium account i can also add a ghost blog and a WordPress website. And this is where IA Writer excels. So if you have lots of articles on the go and you're managing a couple of different websites or even one website, you can write them all in IA Writer. And then when you're ready to publish, you can format them for the web and then publish them at the click of a button. And that's much more user-friendly than using um, a traditional writing app like Microsoft Word or even Google Docs. One of the key selling points of IA Writer is its design and its custom fonts that it comes with. They're unlike anything that you use on your Mac or in other writing apps. You don't have much to customize, which is one of the advantages of these uh, minimalist writing apps, but you can go to preferences and you can go to general and you can swap between a dark and light team. So I'm going to change this to um, dark so I can show you what this looks like. Now, personally, I prefer the light team, but this could be helpful if you like writing late at night. So I'm going to change this back to light uh, and match the system appearance. You can also uh, add some templates as well if this is something that you want to do. But I don't use the templates option much, but what I do like is the typewriter and focus mode. So firstly, I'm going to show you how the typewriter mode works. So just type in typewriter. And again, you can use keyboard shortcuts for this. Um, just to show you it in practice, I'm actually going to turn off typewriter mode. And now I'm typing on a large 27 inch monitor. So if I keep pressing enter, you can see that the, the character or the cursor is moving down the screen. On the other hand, if I turn on the typewriter, you can see it keeps it in the center of the screen. So this is a good tool to use if you're writing on a large screen or if you find that the cursor moving is distracting. Uh, IA Writer also has something called focus mode. Um, so you can focus on a single sentence or paragraph, which is handy for first drafts. So if I click on a single sentence, it'll blur everything out except the sentence that I'm using. And then if I change this to a paragraph, it'll blur everything out except the paragraph in question. So again, this is really good if you want to focus on your first draft and you're worried about getting distracted because you're trying to edit at the same time as write. IA Writer also has some tools which can be helpful for self-editing. The first one is its syntax mode, which is similar to what you can you accomplish with Hemingway app. To show you how this works, I'm going to turn on syntax mode. And now it's highlighted all of the adjectives, nouns, adverbs, verbs, and conjunctions in my article. But let's say I wanted to reduce some of the adjectives in my article. I can just turn off these other ones. And now it's highlighted all of the adjectives and I can consider if I want to delete these or change these. Similarly, I can highlight all of the nouns or I can highlight all of the verbs. And this is a good way for self-editing your work. It also draw your attention to the bottom of IA Writer where you can see your characters, uh, your word counts, sentences, and reading time. So again, this is a good way of helping you self-edit, but it still stays out of the way of your first draft. IA Writer also has a style check, which you can use to find cliches, redundancies, and so on in your work. It's not as powerful as what you can get with Grammarly or other grammar checkers, but it's still helpful and there when you need it. So if I turn on style check, it's gonna highlight um, fillers, cliches, redundancies, and other areas or issues that I've highlighted in the IA Writer dictionary. But I'm gonna turn these off and just focus on fillers. So fillers would be words that I'd want to delete. So you can see here it's crossed out uh, potential filler words that I should probably delete when self-editing my work or redundancies like probably also uh, and so on. So we're gonna change this now to cliches and see if it finds any. So the good news is there's only one cliche in this article that I might want to consider rewriting. Uh, now I'm gonna try redundancies. Hasn't found any redundancies, probably because I've already self-edited this article. The next area that I want to show you is the search in IA Writer. So basically you can you add hashtags to any of your articles. So I'm gonna put in a hashtag here, uh, doing, and it doesn't get added to the document when you export it, but basically you can save these hashtags as save searches, and then you can find any of your articles with the tag doing. So this was something that I used for quite a while to keep track of articles that I was currently working on. Uh, and there is enough to add to the hashtags uh, search bar so if I come up with a new hashtag it'll automatically get added this is a new hashtag 
uh, and then it should appear here now in one moment just press enter So now it's appeared in the sidebar. So this is a great way of organizing and categorizing your writing. You can also create smart folders, which are basically a type of saved searches in IA Writer as well. Now for me, IA Writer excels at organizing short form articles, and it's particularly good if you're a freelance writer. It worked great on Mac using the typewriter mode, but I also liked it on the tablet because it's a great writing setup that's portable if you happen to have a tablet and you also have a good keyboard because you don't have to worry about distractions and so on. I also like it because I can write articles in IA, write, IA Writer and just publish them straight to my Ghost website, to my Medium account and to WordPress. And it's also affordable at $29. IA Writer doesn't have many drawbacks or weaknesses. I've used IA Writer for years when I was a freelance writer. I used it to submit articles to editors and make sure they're all formatted prior to sending them over. And I've also used it to publish articles on my WordPress sites and also on Ghost and my Medium account. To be honest, I could only th really think of two drawbacks for IA Writer. I guess if you're a screenwriter, you're not going to find the features inside IA Writer as useful. Also, if you're writing anything that's complicated or a long form, IA Writer is a little bit weaker than other minimalist writing apps like Ulysses and also like Scrivener. So if you're writing a book, for example, chances are you have lots of different articles or chapters combined in your IA Writer document library. So unless you come up with a custom tagging system, it's gonna be difficult to differentiate one from the next. On the other hand, minimalist writing apps like Ulysses have some additional document management features, which I'll cover in a different review, which can help you manage those particular projects. And then Scrivener, which isn't a minimalist writing app, also helps you manage your book because you can visualize what the structure of your book looks like and drag one chapter around and see them all as index cards. That use case may not apply to every type of writer. A $29 IA Writer is a good purchase if you're looking for a minimalist writing app. It's fantastic if you're a freelance writer and if you have a tablet and a keyboard, it's a great portable writing setup. Hope you enjoyed the content in this video. If you have questions about IA Writer, let me know in the comments section below. If you wanna get more videos or reviews like this, please subscribe to the channel. And finally, if you like this video, I think you'll like this one next.